We will use the SQL tuning advisor for that. It's part of the tuning pack, and it's a way that you can get the database to come up with recommendations that can improve your SQLs. Recommendations on statistics are often fairly safe to implement because good and accurate statistics are a good thing. The SQL Tuning Advisor can also recommend creating indexes, materialized views, or change to partitioning. This you should be a little more careful with because if you add an index, other SQLs will be affected by that index and your DML as well. SQL Tuning Advisor can also recommend you to rewrite an SQL, but it might be a little hard to achieve because it often requires application changes. It can also come up with suggestions to creating SQL profiles, and that I would like to show you a little more about. SQL profile is basically some auxiliary statistics that you can apply to a SQL statement. And the idea is that those extra statistics can ensure that the optimizer comes up with better cardinality estimates and eventually come out with a better plan. SQL profiles are part of the tuning pack. But if your database is in OCI and you're using one of the enterprise edition offerings on DBCS or XSCS, it's actually part of the license. The profile itself is stored in an internal format in the data dictionary. It's kind of a black box, so you can't really see how it's implemented. You just need to know that it works. One of the good things about SQL profiles is that it affects one statement only. Only your specific SQL will be affected by the profile. You can enable or disable a profile at will, so it's very useful for testing. And a SQL profile is completely transparent to the application. So you can create profiles on the database while the application is totally unaware of it. SQL profiles are persistent. They survive a database restart and you can transport them from one system to another. You can create a good profile for your problematic statement in one place and transport it into your production database. And SQL profiles are also very useful if your application is using literals and not binds, because SQL profiles has the false match option that you can set to true. In that case, the database or the SQL profile will remove the literal information from your statement and replace it with placeholders. So two different statements with literals will still match and the same profile will be used for both. It's very easy and very safe to test your SQL profiles. When you create a SQL profile, you can first assign it to a category. This category means that only sessions that belong to that same category will use the profile. So in your test sec session, you can set the category that you apply to your profile, and then you can do tests to ensure that the optimizer behaves in a way that you expect that you come out or that you get a good plan. When you're happy with the profile, you can change the category to default, and now all sessions in the database will use the SQL profile. 